guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about my monthly favorites for the month of March and I am quite surprised once I gathered everything up because I really didn't feel like I had that much and once I started putting it all here, I actually had quite a bit. So um, I'm going to talk about this and um, this is different things, not all makeup. Um, I just have, well, a couple things that are makeup of course, but um, a lot of other different things too. So um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to share this video and please subscribe while you're here. All right, so my first monthly favorite, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna talk about makeup first because we all know that's why you're here. Okay, so my first monthly favorite is this It Cosmetics fan brush. Oh my god, I don't know the number of this or anything like that. Um, I actually got this off of like a Facebook group and as you can see it has like the holes in the back. This was like a displayer one. Um, so yeah, I freaking love this thing. Oh my god, it is so soft and it blends everything like a dream. I love it for contouring bronzing up the rest of my face. I've even used this for highlighter. Oh my god. This thing is amazing, you guys. Um, it is very, very pricey. I did not pay that much for this because of the fact that it is a displayer. But I really, really love this thing. And if you can get this with something else, I know QVC a lot of times has these like with something else. Um, and you can get that. It's a lot cheaper to do it that way. This is an amazing brush. If you can get your hands on it, you will not regret it. It blends everything so easily. You can just put a little bit on your brush. just blends it out like a dream. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. It does all the work for you. Literally. Amazing, amazing brush. Next, I have this lipstick right here. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. And this is the one in Soft Spoken. Oh my god, I'm wearing it right now with the ColourPop Lip Liner in Brink, and this is also one of my monthly favorites. These two together on my lips right now. Perfect combo, and oh my gosh, thank you Barbie for trading me. If you guys don't know who Barbie is, I will leave her channel below, and I will probably indentate it here if I don't forget. Um, but she actually traded me um, the bright freaking neon pink that I had um, from Ipsy for this one because she didn't like this color and this is the color that I wanted so we swapped. Um, so I am so glad she did because I love this color and I would have never tried these unless I got it sent in my Ipsy bag and I freaking love this formula. Um, with me having braces now it does kind of transfer on my braces so that part is a little aggravating but when these babies come off. Yeah. I'm gonna be rocking a lot of these uh, NYX liquid suede lipsticks. So these two together, freaking amazing combo. Like I said, I'm wearing it on my lips. I'll give you guys a little swatch of the Brink liner from ColourPop. Amazing. I actually haven't used this that much. And then the NYX suede next to it. So they're not really that different in color, really at all. It's a really, really nice combination. So absolutely been loving that, you guys. Definitely recommend it. And my next monthly favorite, it's gonna be kind of a shocker considering I did trade um, Barbie for that bright neon pink, but this color right here from ColourPop, and it does look like a freaking bright neon pink, but it's not. It's the color I heart this. Um, and this is, this is what it looks like. Yes, it is a very bright pink, but the undertones in this is not neon. It's more of a reddish undertone, so it actually looks pretty good on me without it looking like in your face, even though it is an in your face color. This is my next monthly favorite, the only other lip product that I have. 
I freaking love this. It is amazing and with my brown hair, I just feel like this color, I can just throw some mascara on, something dark in the waterline or a pop of color in the waterline, this, and barely any makeup. And oh my god, perfect look without even trying rocking this bold, bold lip. My next monthly favorite is the Benefit They're Real. Um, and this is the Tinted Primer. I think this is supposed to be in the next Ipsy bag for a lot of people. I'm kind of hoping I don't get another one because this is going to last me for a while. Even though it's in my monthly favorites, I really do like this. On the days where I would just wear like a little bit of concealer or like a powder foundation, I would wear this. The I Heart This and a bold color in my lashes and, or in my waterline and this on my lashes and I mean I would be good to go with this. Um, I don't like this with other mascaras or any that I've tried. I've seen a lot of reviews on this where people have tried it with the Better Than Sex mascara. I don't like the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced um, and any other mascara that I've tried this with I haven't liked it. I like it by itself. Um, I have not ever tried the Benefit They're Real, so maybe those two together will work really well. I do like the brush in here if you haven't seen it. It is a plasticky, spiky wand, and it is just like the Benefit They're Real. Um, I really like this. I like the wand, so this has really made me want to try the Benefit They're Real mascara. Um, but I do like this, like I said, by itself. It is really nice. It stays on the lashes for a really long time. Um, I don't have trouble getting it off at night. I haven't noticed any flaking, which is a big issue that I do have with a lot of mascaras. Uh, they flake off. This one, I did not have that issue, maybe because it's a tinted primer. I don't know, but I do like it a lot. But I don't want it in my Ipsy bag, and I'm sure I probably will get it in my Ipsy bag for the month of April. Um, but I don't want it. <laughs> I don't need to. Um, the next makeup thing I'm going to talk about, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before in my monthly favorites, not 100%, but it is the MAC Blush and Harmony, and this is what it looks like. I know I've talked about this before. Yeah, I have. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, it is a really, really nice shade. You can use this to contour if you really want to, really lightly, or I use it a lot of times as a blush, um, and then I use it pretty much like a blush and a contour all in one, and then throw a little highlighter on, and then that way I don't really have to do much. Um, it's kind of just like a quick, easy little something to use. It just blends out really, really nicely, and it's not wanting to work. I don't know why. That's not wanting to work on my hand. I did just throw a bunch of makeup remover on there, so maybe that's why it's not wanting to blend. But that is what it looks like. So my next monthly favorite is the Trenton Tarantino Blush and Feather. And it is this really pretty peachy pink shade. A lot of people um, that I've heard about that have used this blush or it's kind of like in the dupe column for the NARS orgasm. I have swatched the NARS orgasm and I don't really care for it because I feel like it's too glittery. This is not overly glittery. It's like the perfect like sheen and everything. Like I don't know how to explain it. Um, so this is what it looks like. It just like, I don't know, like it gives a glow to the skin. I don't know. You guys can really see that. It gives like this really nice peachy pink glow to the skin. It just gives you a really healthy natural look. I am wearing it today. Oh my god, I love this stuff. And I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours now. I put it on at 6 o'clock this morning and it is after 6 now. So 12 hours of wear and you can still see it on my cheeks. I do have a highlighter over top of it but it just is really nice and it is so freaking just pigmented like it's not like overly pigmented but you can like build the pigmentation up depending upon your brush like everything depends on your brush but I mean this just is so nice and the packaging is adorable I don't know if you can really get these anymore or not because I don't think 
like Trent and Tarantino is a big brand anymore. I know it used to be sold at Sephora a while back. But I actually got this in like a giveaway. Um, so I actually won a giveaway and that's how I got this blush. And I never really used it and really at all. And this past month I've just been loving this because it is so natural. Especially on those days where I don't feel like wearing much makeup. But I need to wear makeup because my skin just is like a red lobster. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I make myself laugh. So speaking of a red lobster, uh, my next monthly favorite is the Maybelline Master Prime and this is the, what are you called? Blur and Redness. Hopefully it's showing up. I need to start showing stuff up close for y'all. Okay, so the Master Prime um, Blur and Redness by Maybelline and I really love this stuff. I've tried the Makeup Forever and I feel like this is very comparable to the Makeup Forever. My hand is all like pink. It comes out in this like light, comes out in this light like green tint, almost like a white and it just blends in really easy. Um, I don't really know if this like prolongs my makeup but it really does help the redness like die down. I mean I've been wearing this you know since 6 o'clock this morning 12 hours away it still looks pretty daggone good um, and I'm making a video wearing this makeup so <laughs> um, I just feel like this is really amazing stuff and it really does help with the redness and everything like that and I do, like I said, I think it is a really good dupe for the Makeup Forever one. If you are looking for a drugstore primer price, this is a really nice one. I love it. Love, love, love it. This is like a new holy grail for me because mama's a lobster. Let's just leave it at that. So my next monthly favorite is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette. I know everybody's going to be talking about the Bon Bon or the Sweet Peaches or the, um, what is it? Peanut Butter and Jelly. Okay, this is the palette that started the peanut butter and jelly craze. This beautiful, beautiful shade right here. Okay, I really, really love the peanut butter shade in here, but come on, Too Faced. This shade right here in Nougat, and then this shade right here in Rum Rice. I don't know what it is. Apparently, I... <coughs> I love cool tone eyeshadows and I never realized it until I got this palette like how well they work with my eyes because all of my shadows have pretty much been warm tones, warm browns, everything like that and a lot of time I feel like I look like I got punched in the eye um, and a lot of times it's just like maybe I didn't blend it properly you know and I realized that it is the colors like I can make them work but this palette, the cool tones in this palette are perfect. They are like perfection. I don't know what it is, why I waited so long to get this palette. I've had it for, I've had it for a good while and I was doing Project Pan and I kind of never really used it. I used it like once and I was like, oh, that's nice. I like the Chocolate Bar Original better. I still love my Chocolate Bar Original, but I freaking love these chocolate bar palettes. Like, come back to you know, chocolate bar, Too Faced. We want we want chocolate. This is what started it all. We want chocolate. So my next monthly favorite, I have two, and that is the Wet n Wild nail polishes. If I can put them up here, the Wet n Wild nail polishes, the One Step Wonder gel nail polishes. I have Condensed Milk and Stay Classy. I love Condensed Milk and Stay Classy both, but I feel like Condensed Milk works a lot better than Stay Classy. I do love both. Condensed Milk, like I said, I feel like it works just a little bit better, but they both are my monthly favorites. These are the only two out of the line that I have. I tried Condensed Milk first. I bought them at the same time, but I tried Condensed Milk first just because I wanted to see if the shade was actually going to look good on my nails because I'm kind of pasty white <laughs> and a lobster all in one but I just wanted to see if this one was actually going to be a good nude on my nails um so I tried this one this one lasted about 
six days on me and mind you I cannot wear a nail polish without it chipping for 24 hours literally my nails do not keep nail polish on them I have a clear nail polish on them right now I had to reapply this today because it literally came off last night it's about six hours after I put it on and for a four dollar nail polish to work on me I'm pretty amazed this one lasted six days this one lasted four so six and four and that to me is amazing because like I said I cannot even get nail polish to last 24 hours on me I can sit there all freaking day long let it dry and it's still gonna crack it's gonna fall off something I don't even I don't even want to talk about it anymore I am obsessed with Shea Moisture you guys I have two favorites from them yeah two and it's funny because they're both like baby or kid um, products. The first one is the Shea Moisture Olive, what is it, Mandarin Baby Head to Toe Shampoo and Body Wash. Yeah. So this right here I've been using for my hair. I've been using the Shea Moisture brand for my daughter for over like a year now and her hair is a lot like mine. You can't sleep without it getting really nasty and oily. Okay, my hair, since I've been using this, I noticed like her hair had changed and I was like, man, I don't have to wash her hair every day. What's going on? You know, like it was like mine. What, what is the deal here? And it was this shampoo. Literally, I don't have to wash my hair, but you know like if I don't want to um, which normally like before I would have to wash it every single day or I would literally like be able to probably wring grease out of it you could cook with it if you wanted to that's kind of gross but you know if you wanted to cook with it you could because there was so much in my head um, but with this literally I can go without washing my hair for like two days and I've never been able to do that before in my entire life like literally like by the second day it would be so greasy that literally I would just like throw it up in a bun because I wouldn't want to wash it and I'm like I don't need to wash my hair every single day but since I've been using that oh my god her hair has completely changed like literally if I didn't want to wash her hair for four days I wouldn't have to wash her hair for four days mine on the other hand I probably could but I just don't um, <laughs> so that stuff is amazing if you guys have not tried it short shea moisture freaking shampoos soaps everything I love everything from them like I literally I would buy everything from them I'm kind of obsessed with them if you haven't noticed so the next Shea Moisture product I'm going to talk about is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangling Spray so it's this right here and it says it's for thick wavy unruly anti-frizzy hair and with this little section right here that's this exact scent I don't know if you guys can see it this exact scent the what scent oh the coconut and hibiscus scent up here um this is mainly for like a curly hair this exact like scent that they have and coloring with this but this one isn't exactly for that I mean I'm pretty sure it would be nice to use it with it but my daughter has like stick straight hair just like mine everything about her hair is just like mine my hair gets freaking tangled like no other I don't know why because it's like so straight and flat and no life um, except it's really shiny <laughs> and it's healthy because of the Shea Moisture products like my hair is completely changed and transformed because of it so this right here I've been using to like detangle her hair kind of put on the ends of mine to detangle them a little bit I love this stuff oh my god I don't know how many times I would be like brushing her hair and she would just start crying because she feels like I'm ripping her hair out and I mean her hair is the exact same texture as mine so I know how it feels when your hair is tangled um this stuff has just been a lifesaver with her hair I don't have to worry about ripping any of her hair out and I'm not like sitting there freaking 
you know, jerking her hair. I mean, I go from the, you know, the bottom of the hair and go up. So this right here, Lifesaver, oh my goodness, it is amazing. If you have a child with tangly, tangly hair, get this. It is like $11 where I bought it, but a lot of times Walgreens will have them like buy one, get one 50% off or I think right now, maybe it's over by now, but it was like you buy two, you get one free. That was really nice and that was with all um, hair products and I just stocked up on Shea Moisture. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Tom's Mouthwash, and this is in Wicked Fresh, and this is the Cool Mountain Mint, and I'm pretty sure you can buy this just about anywhere. Um, where I have braces now, I get some stinky breath, like seriously stinky breath, and when you have braces, that just is part of it. Like, I really feel like I floss and all that jazz like I need to but you still get some stinky breath so this right here is a really nice it does not burn at all literally I feel like you could drink this if you wanted to but I don't drink it <laughs> um literally I just swish it around I don't have any like burning sensations any like I mean it doesn't hurt at all it literally it tastes really good I like mint and peppermint spearmint mint I like mint um, when it comes to mouth washing stuff I like mint stuff but I really really like this the last thing that I have and this is the fortune cookie soap nail cuticle oil or cream or something like that I will Put it in here I got it when I was getting the fortune cookie soap boxes and I got this in it and where my nails have been like such in such bad shape I had to do something and I was trying to grow my nails out make them stronger things like that that could be why these right here worked a lot better on my nails than other things but I mean still like I said I have a clear nail polish on and it literally just came off I don't know what it is but I've been using this and it has made my nails so much stronger. Like literally, they're like so freaking strong now. It's crazy. Just like, it's helped so, so much. Like they're really freaking hard. Like the hardest they've ever been. And it's all because of this stuff right here. Um, I don't even know if they sell this stuff anymore. I don't know the name of it, the scent of it. It just smells really freaking good. Oh my goodness, I love using this stuff. It's like an, it has like an all mini scent. I'm probably completely off because I'm not very good at scents. I can't smell worth a dang. Um, so yeah, it's probably nothing like what I think it is. So um, I will leave the name of it here. They still sell this. I know this is a sample of it. Um, I will list it below for you guys in case you're wondering about it. I literally just rub this on my nails. Um, I just like go in. It's like this kind of consistency. You can see in there how much I've used. Like this thing was completely full. So it's like this consistency. I just take it, rub it in my nails, rub it all the way down, and then just like push it through and pull it under and just kind of soak it up underneath my nail. And it leaves your nail like extra extra shiny so my nails are pretty shiny right now but yeah so and that is the end of my monthly favorites i'm sorry if it was just like me talking a lot but that's what monthly favorites are so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and didn't mind my um just rambling and jabbering and everything else so that is the end of this video i hope you guys really liked it and enjoyed seeing more of me and my monthly favorites I don't know I am tired I've been up you know since six o'clock and I don't sleep anymore so that is the end of this video I hope you guys really liked it like I said and I'm done bye guys